control. Bravo team. What's up, all you Control beautiful, zone. gorgeous, sexy people out there? Welcome back to some more Destiny Alpha gameplay for you guys. This time it's one small step for man and one giant leap for Titan kind. Anyways, guys, as you can see here, we're on first light. As you seen earlier, it's uh, on the moon. We're like Neil Armstrong up in here. We're like Neil Armstrong up in this his house. We're bouncing around. We're flying around. So, guys, as you know, I got my chance to play in the Destiny, uh, the Destiny Alpha like closed. Oh, I don't know if it was really closed, but there was some people that got in, some people that didn't got in, and this is the Crucible. This is Control, and as you've seen in the intro video with that dude talking, where he's like, this is Control, dominate all the points, guardians, <laughs> when he said that. My dude, I believe, was actually the one that stuck that staff in the ground. He said, you shall not pass. He was like, get off the gray up in this. So anyways guys, as you can see here, you know, I'm running around, I'm using this gun that I picked up eventually, it's not my primary weapon short, sort of, it's like a single shot, single fire weapon, so I get my first kill. Now heading into this, this was my last, my actual, the last day of the Destiny Alpha. And I didn't know really what to expect because in the Destiny Alpha, you had one map or there's two maps that you can play in the Crucible and that you can play or you could play in Control. One was like called Rusted Lands or something like that. It was in old Russia. It was with Sputnik or something like that. And it was pretty much a short map, a small map where you could just run around, kill people, have a grand old time, you know, be the real murderer that you are. You could do that. And then this map, it's sort of larger, sort of much more of a grander scale. As I'm flying around, this dude's trying to hit me with his electricity. He's trying to splash me in the face with his electricity. I'm like, dude, I don't know you like that. Get out of here. Get out of here, son. Get out of here. And he's flying around, throwing nades at me and all that stuff. So I didn't really know what to expect, guys. Coming into this, you know, I didn't really know. I knew there were vehicles on the map. I didn't know how they would play. I didn't know how the people would use them and all that stuff as this dude just keeps flying around and this was really one of the more active points so I pull out my pulse weapon and I disintegrate him I use my electric charge or whatever that was and disintegrate that son of a gun so you see my Titan's all decked out and all that stuff he's flying around he's like a level 8 right now or he was a level 8 when I finished on this day and he has all of his gear he's like a 134 in defense and all that stuff so as I was saying yeah, as I get this control point and I prevent him from capturing that control point as I was saying I didn't really know how to expect this game mode to go or this gameplay to go or this map to go or how the vehicles would play how the weapons would work on this map and let me tell you it was it can be a little disappointing some maps make you feel frustrated some map or sometimes some of the players make you feel frustrated it wasn't really necessarily the map because more of the action more centralized like if you have if you're between alpha and bravo most of the interaction most of the action most of the killing the slaying is going to go on between those two points so you see my buddy's getting shot here i'm going to drop down and i'm going to spray and pray no I'm not spray and pray i'm just going to knock this dude out and help my buddy even though he got killed so as i was saying it's a larger map but most of the interaction is centralized well at least for me it was i just kept bouncing back between those two points and all that stuff so you see all these vehicles running around it's bungie bungie's gonna have vehicles i played halo or halo 3 or something like that i think it was three we played i played in that and you'll see that's like the tank of the map you see that tank is just annihilating people it's taking people out because it's kind of hard to take out that freaking tank so you see here i have my hook smash and i see this dude he doesn't see me i'm flying up in the air and i'm gonna hawk smash hawk smash sit down son <laughs> no more vehicle for you, brosif, broski, brohan. Anyways, basically, guys, when you're in that vehicle, when you're in that like sort of tank-looking thing, when you're like in that Star Wars-looking vehicle, and they're all Star Wars-looking vehicles, they give that Star Wars sort of feel. When you're on the moon, it's Star Wars, but in like on the moon and all that stuff. So, anyways, when you're in those vehicles. They can be overpowered. They can be OP. And this is just the alpha. This will, or that was just the alpha. So, you know, they, I think one of the things that they can do to improve the alpha in order to imp or improve destiny in general is to sort of downgrade the vehicles. Because I want that gun on gun. I like more of that gun on gun feel, that more fast paced gun on gun action. I don't want to feel like I'm being booty raped or getting it done up the booty hole to some dude in a vehicle that doesn't want to leave his vehicle. I don't like that feeling. I, it feels, it makes you feel helpless. It makes you feel like you have no hope. 
whatsoever. And that's not something I like in the game. It's, it's really something you can't control. But then again, it was just the alpha. So the vehicles can be overpowered. But if people hop out of them, people run around and all that stuff. If people do that and they stay out of those vehicles, then you have a pretty good chance of having a fun match. Especially on this map. I was having fun flying around as I punched that dude. It's like UFC 2014 up in here. I said, get off me, son. Sit down. Get knocked out. Anyways, so you see I'm on this map, I'm waiting, or I'm on this, this, um, control point, I'm on that control point, I'm waiting for my buddies, and I see all my buddies coming in, and all of a sudden I get annihilated, I get killed, and this gameplay, this actual gameplay, is where I do pretty decent. Most of the time I had maybe like a 1 KDE, something like that, depending on the map, especially when I hopped into this map the first time, my KD was like a point two. honestly, it was like a point two. that's like a 1 out of 5. So, anyways, it was pretty horrible just getting the field of the vehicles and all that stuff. Now, you'll see eventually I have all three guns in this gameplay. I finally learned at this point how to use my weapons. This is my secondary, I believe. And I see this dude, I'm trying to charge up my weapon. It doesn't work because, you know, the charge isn't really helpful. But the dude annihilates me. So I like when I'm in this gameplay, when I'm in Destiny, I like to use my secondary, my primary. Or I like to use my primary as far as like the regular guns. And then I like to use that special weapon later. But the real, the real kicker is when you get that heavy weapon. When you get that heavy weapon, it's just time to go to work. It's just time to go to town and do some slaying, do some murdering. Be like Mike Myers when you got your heavy weapon. You're like Mike Myers. I got my super charge. I got my charge up. Now I'm just looking for a kill. I'm looking for a stealth kill. So I see that dude. He's off on the side. He's near that uh that the like Gatlin gun looking thing. And I see he's supercharged. And the hunter supercharges where they can shoot like bullets and just get one shot kill. And then he's just waiting for me, and I didn't really expect that. So he annihilates me. So after this. After first light, after playing first light, I had a pretty decent idea of what Destiny could be like as far as small maps and as far as large maps. And I hate large maps. Everyone hates large maps. Or usually hates large maps. I want to be close to the action. I want to be feel like I'm in a fast-paced game and all that stuff. So coming out of this, you know, earlier when I had the Rusted Lands, when I played Rusted Lands, it was de it definitely left a, good, left a good feel in my mouth, like a good taste in my mouth. I felt like I was eating some chocolate cake or something like that, you know, some freaking ice cream, you know, some strawberry ice cream with some vanilla, vanilla cake or something. That's what it felt like, like something delicious, something like heavenly in your mouth. That's what it felt like when I was coming away from Rusted Lands. But heading into this, it kind of nullified that feeling. And you'll see I'm going to pick up that heavy weapon or that heavy ammo. And I'm going to pull out like my machine gun looking thing with the scope on it. And you see those, those, those the ammo, the ammo bouncing around. I'm just feeling excited. I'm feeling pumped up on my Titan. I got my machine gun. It's just time to, to go to work, son. Punch your clock in. Punch that ticket and get ready to go to town. So, you see I do that little slide. But as I was saying, guys, it kind of nullified that feeling a little bit just because of the vehicles. Again, I didn't get a great, uh, too many maps or too many times I, was, I wasn't really put in on this map. But when I was, sometimes I did good, sometimes I did okay. Sometimes it was just annoying with all the vehicles running around and nobody really actually playing the game as far as like shooting each other, running around, using your supers and all that stuff. And when people weren't doing that, it kind of sucked for me. It kind of left a bad taste. But that's something they can fix. That's something they can nullify. That's something they can take out when they have the final version. Especially when they have the beta coming up. Because the beta is in like 20 days or something like that. It's on the July 17th. And if you pre-order the game, you're going to get in. So be excited, fellas. You're going to get play some Destiny if you pre-order the game. And I will be playing it. I think from what I heard, you don't actually get a keep. I won't be able to use this Titan again, and uh, that's disappointing because he's all decked out. He has the red and white. He's rocking red and red and white, and I'm just I just want some like red and black or something. You see right here, I'm all decked out with him. He has like the, the freaking uh, like lasso thing or something. I don't even know what it is, but he has like some leather on, on his belt, and he's rocking the Titan logo and all that stuff. So it'll be interesting to see when they incorporate factions, when they incorporate all that stuff, because originally I know they are talking about that you have to choose a certain faction, be a part of that group, and then go from there and all that stuff. You can fight with their emblems, fight with their armor and all that. 
So you see I actually hopped in that tank looking thing, that Star Wars looking tank, and I'm flying it around. I have no clue what the F I'm doing, but I'm just having a good old time, you know, looking for people. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm firing rockets out, and it looks like they arch down a little bit. They have that distance thing on them, and I, it looks like I got a lockdown medal or something. So I come up, I got my tank, my, uh, my heavy armor, my heavy weapon, and I'm just firing it. I get a lot of kills. I'm on a five kill streak. If this were Call of Duty, I'd have my care package. I just want to call him my care package right now. Or call him my Titan. My Titan Super. My Titan Super Billy. I want to Hulk smash someone. So, basically, you know, it looks to be, especially after this, you know, they could, they should definitely do something about the vehicle. It's kind of make sure it's not OP and all that stuff, which I'm sure they'll do. And if that, if they can do that, then this, this game is going to be awesome. I'm telling you guys right now, it's going to be, it's one of the best games so far I've played on next gen. It's one, it's fast paced. It's fun to play. It has a lot of different elements to it. And of course we only played in the alpha, a certain small section of it. We weren't playing the whole game, which is sure to be expansive. It has like hundreds of planets and all, well, not hundreds of planets, but it has planets on it and other maps, other places. I was only on earth. Can you imagine fighting in the uh, the red dot on Jupiter? Like that red storm that's been going on for centuries. That would be freaking awesome. You know, I just want to get on there. I just want to get into like Mars or something. Find some aliens, you know. Find E.T. Kill E.T. And then go home. You know, that's, that's just what I want to do. <laughs> it's, sure, it's sure to be a great game. I'm thinking it's going to be one of the best games of next gen. And that's how much I... I liked it, how much I like the feel of it and all that stuff. Of course, it's just the alpha, so you never know. It's the alpha, and the feeling is that it could be that, but if they don't change a few things, improve on some few things, then you, you never know, really. You never know at this stage. So, guys, you can see here, my team won. We got the W. Yeah. So, guys, oh, stay frosty, and I love you.